Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a new partnership that just launched between better.com and Palantir. So let's get into it right now. We're gonna get right into the press release and talk about what Palantir is doing. Better joins forces with Palantir, a partnership to revolutionize origin, origination and mortgage portfolio management, helping make home finance better, faster, cheaper, easier, and more equitable. Now, real quick, before we get into the press release, let's go to better.com. Um, this is a company that got famous because the CEO fired a bunch of people over Zoom uh, back in like, I don't know, December, January. So they got a lot of coverage because of that. But essentially what better.com does is help you find a mortgage. Uh, they take zero commission, zero lender fees. They have this proprietary data matching system that uses the best technology in, in their words to be able to figure out how to underwrite a mortgage and how to more effectively match you with an insurance that makes sense. I don't know that much about the company. I mean, I've heard about them. I've seen some stuff in the press releases, uh, but it's interesting to see that they are partnering with Palantir. So Better, one of the fastest growing digital home ownership companies, have funded over $100 billion in home financing in the past six years since launch. They announced today that it is teaming up with Palantir, a leading builder of operating systems for the modern enterprise, in support of its mission to fix the home financing process and make ownership more attainable for all Americans. So that's their goal is to make home ownership better and more easier, better.com for Americans. The partnership will initiate the launch of Tin Man Marketplace, the next evolution of Better's proprietary loan platform, which automates 70% of the mortgage process. Tin Man Marketplace will be powered by Palantir's Foundry operating system. So I think that's the big news. Tin Man Marketplace is the thing that is their proprietary loan system that allows them to do data matching and loans in a meaningful way towards prospective home buyers. And now as if it wasn't before, I'm assuming, it's gonna be powered by Palantir's Foundry. At launch, Tinman Marketplace will move the mortgage industry from the archaic rate sheets and 200 eligibility PDF files to a rich interface on top of Better's existing investor pricing matching engine. This will make it easier for government-sponsored enterprises and mortgage industry inv investors to make richer and deeper data into mortgage capital allocation decisions. For the first time, simultaneous changes to pricing and eligibility criteria will allow capital to flow into underwriting attributes that are more than the traditional GSE loan level pricing adjustment grid. Interesting. So government-sponsored enterprises and mortgage industry investors are going to be able to use this platform in a sort of symbiotic way and not use the archaic methods of these 200 eligibility PDF files that you have to fill out in order to just use this one thing and sign up and then you get a loan. The combination of Tinman, which automated specialized processing and underwriting functions, and Foundry, designed to keep the customers to be able to do more with the data, will help lead to better data-driven decision-making. That's sort of the key punchline here. in the allocation of home lending and expand the access to mortgages in the United States. So the way I think this operates is like, okay, Tinman working with Palantir, when Tinman Marketplace or customers using Tinman Marketplace are trying to make a decision on what loan they should get, what APY, you know, what, what 30 year, 20 year fixed mortgage, whatever it is, this is going to accelerate and accentuate the potential for them to make decisions in a meaningful way, in a better way, and a more efficient way. And if it's being done on top of the engine underneath their proprietary loan system, which is Foundry, then all the data that is being siloed coming together and having that ontology layer, which if you're a Palantir shareholder, you probably know that's sort of like the bread and butter of Palantir, that should be able to allow customers to expand their ability to access mortgages in the United States, which is you know the mission of better.com. Uh, and Palantir propelling their mission is the sort of engine in the background, which is the use case of, of Foundry. Among other use cases, the partnership will bring to a market a tool that will empower government-sponsored enterprises and other government agencies involved in consumer loans to help rebalance their portfolios and meet their equitable housing and finance goals. The marriage of Foundry, so this is a quote, the marriage of Foundry and Tinman will permit a GSE to identify portfolio rebalancing opportunities and almost instantly identify the specific points to target to ensure optimal pricing and credit with ease and new speeds and not seen in the mortgage market. Uh, Vishal Garg, chief executive, executive offer says this type of tool is a key step in achieving a fair and better housing market interesting so the idea between behind the partnership should lead not only to better data-driven decision making but data-driven decision making that actually results um in new speed and efficiency when it comes to getting a mortgage. Equitable access to home ownership is exactly the type of complex data-driven problem Palantir was built to solve, Palantir COO Sham Sankar says. We're excited that Better has selected Palantir as the operating system to build its next generation of tools on to support Better in their offering to platform GSEs and other private portfolio managers to identify and rebalance their loan exposures. Foundry is already being used to bring data-driven decision-making to Better's mortgage loan originations, and both companies expect to have the combined technology running following the current test period. Now, couple of thoughts I have on this. Uh, first, let me give the, the bull thoughts. This is awesome primarily because uh, this is one of the reasons why I love Palantir, right? They have use cases in every industry. This is mortgage loan underwriting. It's kind of boring. It's not that sexy, not that interesting, but Palantir's Foundry, because it is this like tentacle that just has all these different use cases as it expands, has the ability to launch a partnership because they are the operating system underneath something that better.com is trying to do. 
The question becomes how many more times can they expand what their partnership with better.com to like every company in the world, <laughs> like, or at least some of those companies. I'll, you know, if, if they can do that, they have a real big chance to win. And back in uh, late 2021, early 2022, all you saw were these different types of partnerships and these different type of platforms. I know earnings were not the best, but Wall Street, I think, was initially excited when they saw these things happen because they could estimate, okay, if this is happening, then there's a lot of potential for more of this stuff to happen and at least growth from $9, you know, there's a chance that for that to happen. So that's the bull case. The bear case is better.com is on their fourth round of layoffs. Uh, I don't know how healthy of a company better.com is. Obviously, they have some issues that are going on. You know, they had bad publicity. I don't know if it's the best company, worst company. I don't know what's going on in that space. But uh, Pouncher choosing to publicize this partnership, which probably didn't have to be publicized, right? You could say that they don't have to publicize it. But them choosing to do that means that they wanted to highlight their use case in this industry, which I understand it makes a lot of sense. Um, but also maybe better wanted some better publicity because they wanted to say, you look, we've had a rough year. We know we've had layoffs, but we are trying to embrace a data-driven future in which we can become more efficient and faster and effective. And in order to do that, we need to be able to use Palantir's foundry. And we are happy to make this announcement and tell it to the world. Um, so, I mean, it's an interesting thing. I think as a shareholder, it's not going to move the stock. There's nothing crazy. There's not one of those ama like amazing partnerships that changes the trajectory of the company. It's another reinforcement of the fact that their operating system works and it helps in a lot of different industries. I don't know how many people woke up today and thought the mortgage loan industry is going to be using Foundry, but it is. And that's the cool part about this to me. So those are my thoughts on that. Quick little video, quick little thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. If you want daily Palantir audio content, please check out the link in the description. You can check out uh, my new app, my new startup that launched called Audia, and you can get your daily Palantir audio from there. Let me know your thoughts and what you think about this partnership with Palantir and Better.com. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I will see you in the next one.